I want to say thank you to all of my haters. I want to say thank you to all of my haters, okay, for going out of your way to give me so much publicity with all the fake pages on Instagram and all the fake pages on Twitter and all the fake pages on Facebook and Snapchat. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I want to thank all of my haters, all of my detractors, all of the trolls that are always on my posts. I want to thank you for the negative publicity because by doing that, you heighten other people's awareness and consciousness of who Dr. Umar Johnson is. If it wasn't for my haters, I wouldn't be as big as I am. If it wasn't for my haters, I wouldn't be as successful as I am. If it wasn't for my haters, okay, I would not be as global as I am. So I want to say thank you to all you trifling, dusty hotep Negroes who have nothing but negative things to say about me because you have brought a lot of people. You have brought a lot of people to the Dr. Umar Johnson movement. So I want to thank you and I encourage you to keep it going in the new year. Thank you for the millions and millions and millions of dollars of free publicity that you dusty hoteppers like to give me. I thank you from the bottom of my heart and I'm probably going to have a banquet to honor all of Dr. Umar's haters. We're going to have a banquet and we're going to give out a lot of awards we have a lot of awards to give out. We're going to have hater of the year. We're going to have hater of the month, top media hater, okay, top character assassination hater, top fundraising hater, top doctoral degree hater. We're going to have a different award for every aspect and every accomplishment of Dr. Umar Johnson, okay? So thank you, haters. Okay? Thank you to the haters. Now, as it relates to the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy fundraiser, it is amazing that I get so many questions about the money. What is he doing with the money? Well, guess what? Go fund me. Listen, listen, go fund me. Sent me an email a couple of weeks ago. Y'all don't know this. They temporarily froze my GoFundMe account. This is why I was down for a day. Y'all remember there was a day or two where my GoFundMe was down. You know why it was down? Because my haters sent letters to GoFundMe claiming that I was a fraud, that I was not serious about what I'm doing, that I was spending the money. And so GoFundMe said, we need evidence that you still have this money. We need evidence that you're actually trying to build a school. We need evidence of your credentials. This was GoFundMe the day that the page froze. So what I did was I sent GoFundMe a copy of the account ledger. I sent them a copy of the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy account. I said, here, as you can see, there hasn't been a single withdrawal from this account since it was opened almost two years ago. Not a single withdrawal. And then I gave them the bank information and I said, feel free to contact my bank and verify that the information you see on that statement is accurate. And you also have permission to ask them if any withdrawals have been made from this account since it opened. GoFundMe did their investigation. They came back. They apologized and said we had to do this because your people, here we go again, your people, here we go again. Your people were contacting us making accusations against you. We apologize that we froze your account during the holiday season. We apologize, but we had to because we were getting letters from people who were claiming you were not what you claimed to be. So then I had to give them information on my university credentials because again, you trifling Negroes. 
Okay, and I'm talking to the haters, okay? Not every, the haters. Y'all been claiming that I don't have no doctorate. I'm not a school psychologist. I ain't been doing this for almost 20 years. Okay, so I had to show them. I graduated from Millersville University of Pennsylvania, bachelor's in psychology, bachelor's in political science, master's in school psychology. Feel free to contact. I had to tell them I got my master's in my principal certificate from Lehigh University. I told them to contact them. I had to tell them I got my third master's and my doctorate from PCOM. Feel free to, to contact them. Okay? And then the Frederick Douglass thing came up, so I had to give them that. I'm a direct descendant of Stephen Henry Bailey, my four times great grandfather, who was Frederick Douglass's first cousin, half brother by virtue of slavery. I am a direct blood descendant of Isaac and Betsy Bailey, just like Frederick Douglass. I'm a direct blood descendant of Isaac and Betsy Bailey, just like Frederick Douglass. Family tree, here we go. Contact them, see if I'm not blood. So, y'all know I had to go through this for my doctorate. I had to go through this for GoFundMe. What else I had to go through this? Something else y'all did. What else did they do, y'all? The doctorate, the credentials, the GoFundMe, the bloodline. But to make a long story short, brothers and sisters, these haters, oh, also the IRS had contacted me too because they wrote to the IRS. I want y'all to know how far they go. So when you guys take up for wow. me, I thank you guys for taking up for me. They've contacted the IRS. Okay. You know, this, this is what they do. This is what they yeah. do. But you Negroes gravitate to me hating because you jealous. It ain't about the school. You jealous, you envious, you wish it was you, you wish you had the program, and so you hate because you cannot be me. You don't want to be me. This is a hard job. You might see the benefits, but you don't see the detriments. It's work involved in this. Every step you take, somebody trying to destroy you, you don't want that kind of life. That ain't no way somebody should have to live. You got to watch what you say on the phone. You got to watch how you interact with people because there's always somebody looking to destroy you. You don't want that life. So if you don't want to support me, you don't have to. Keep it moving. Just like my supporters were telling y'all on the, on the lobby. Y'all coming on there hating. What you here for? What are you here? If you don't like the man, why do you keep coming to his platform? You know why? Because you really do like me, but you can't say it. You really do appreciate me, but you can't say it. You really do love Dr. Umar Johnson, but you can't say it. In fact, a great man once said that jealousy and envy is nothing more than negative admiration and adulation. Jealousy and envy is nothing but negative admiration and adulation. I don't put myself above nobody. I'm no better than y'all. If you've ever been in my space, you know that I'm a very humble brother. I don't leave a lecture until I've signed everybody's book. I don't leave a lecture until I've taken every picture. I don't leave a lecture if the elders got to holler at me. I make sure the elders get their time. You see how I operate. I'm the only one who does that. Do you understand? So you know I'm real. You know I'm real. And you hate me because you wish I wasn't real. See, I'm supposed to be a fraud. I'm supposed to be a fraud. Six degrees pushing the RBG platform with six degrees why is this negro worrying about saving poor black folks when he could be making millions and millions of dollars he must be a fraud let's see the degrees well guess what you can contact the university get the credentials y'all sent the irs after me y'all sent gofundme after me y'all done sent everybody y'all can send and i'm still here and i'm not going nowhere so deal with it facts. I'm still here and I'm not going nowhere because I've been assigned on this mission by the ancestors. This is an ancestral movement. It is bigger than me. I am not the movement. It is coming through me. Supreme consciousness is using me to get a job done. If you got eyes, you can see this. 
And don't get me wrong, I'm humble. I didn't want to accept it myself. But this is what I'm told about the spiritual community. But I want to thank them. I want to thank them because you can only fly against the friction of the wind. You can only fly against the friction of the wind. So I want to thank you haters for all the negativity that you have brought to my life because it has only made me more resolute. It has only made me more determined. It has only made me more committed to build heaven on earth for our black boys.